There's one thing you commonly need to do on videos. For example, when you have image strip overlays like these, you don't want them to appear abruptly. You want them to fade in and out. And for that, by default in Blender, you'd have to manually key the opacity property of the strips. And with the add-on, you can select a strip and you press F to add a fade in and out by default. You can use Control F to add only a fade in, as you can see in the graph editor here, or Alt F to add a fade out only. Control and Alt are common shortcuts to represent the left and the right side of the strips in the add-on. I'm going to press F again to reset the fade in and out. So now you can see my strip fades in and fades out on the screen. The good news is it works with as many strips as you'd like at the same time. So you can select two and press F. The report will say added fade to two sequences. And effectively, if I move the time cursor to update the graph editor, you can now see both fades in the graph editor. Um, the tool has one more little feature. For example, let's say I want some black color boards in the background and I want it to fade in and out. So I'm adding a color strip. I will set its blend mode to alpha over so it can be transparent and press F to fade. Now I've got one issue with it. It's the fact that it's pure black. I don't want it to be pure black. I want it to fade up to a certain opacity level. Let's say 0 0.5. Okay. If I set the opacity at 0 0.5 and press F to fade, it's going to update and set it as the maximum opacity. You can then use it to have some little animation uh, on top of the video that's playing in the background. Um, this is something I use commonly on tutorials. Now, this has one caveat. It's if, say, you place your cursor on the fade right in the middle of the fade of some strip and you inadvertently press F, as you will see, it will set the um, opacity the strip was at as the maximum. However, if you are at a point where the opacity is zero and you press F, it's going to reset the opacity to one. So this makes it so there's only a small frame range in which you, you can get this mistake. And in general, you will only want to add the fades at the very end of your video. You add all the pictures, you place them, then you can select them all at once and press F once you have all your fades. Um, this said, say you want to do this manually because you don't have the shortcuts installed, you can press the space bar and search for fade strips. Then press F6 to modify the operator's properties like you do with any function you call in Blender. You can change the fade length in frames and the fade type to be in, out, or in and out. At the moment, if you resize the strip, the fade will not update. The only way to do this in Blender uh, is a little bit hacky. So instead, you have to select your strip and press F again. In general, if you've set up the fade and the properties for your videos, um, this is not too inconvenient.